one of the 2022 Asia Pacific Amateur Championship is finally here. The build up has been exciting, but now it's time for the golf to take centre stage. On the tee from Thailand, Natapat Kalpiboon. Last year's runner-up, Tai Chi Ko, enjoyed an early start. Teeing off the 10th hole, Hong Kong's leading amateur was amongst the birdies early. This, on 14, his second of the day. But three double bogeys in his last four holes had Ko in the clubhouse at two over par. It was a good morning for the Australasians. Here's Connor McKinney with a lovely putt on 12 to go under par for the day. It was two shots better for countryman Harrison Crow rolling in his first birdie of the day on the tough par 4 14th. A 3 under 69 sees him inside the top 15. New Zealand's Jimmy Hydes enjoyed six birdies today, including this classy putt on 12. A painful double bogey on his 17th hole of the day cost him a clean scorecard, but still, a 68 means he's tied for fifth. James Liao of Singapore was one better, signing for a 5 under 67. This near-perfect approach into the par 3 13th left a short one for birdie. He finished at 5 under, setting the early pace at a Mata Spring. I've actually never taken a lead uh, the first round at AC, and I think it's always a nice feeling knowing that you're in a good spot for the week and uh, just got to keep doing what you're doing and just keep doing it, yeah. China's Zhu Xing Zhou raced into an early lead with a flurry of birdies on his opening nine. Charging to five under through 11 holes, he backed it up with a clutch par save on the next. A couple of drop shots coming home had Zhou in the clubhouse at three under. As we join the action, China's Bo Jin started to light up in Mata Spring. Wow. Here at 11 for Bo Jin, this to get to five and tie for the lead. Pretty flat putt here. Oh yeah. Go ahead, Bo Jin. Also on course was top ranked player in the field, TK Chanton Inouet. Another twirl. Sensational shot. How about that from TK Chanton Inouet? Hayden Hopewell. Played it to obviously release it. Right, right, right. Enjoy the weight back there. Now, Bo Jin at 12. Yeah, just the 100 metres. You've got to be careful from the right hand side here and going long. He's really dialed in today. I've noticed how much he's grown since last year. He's sort of grown into his body. He's a big human. He's 6 foot 4. TK now approaching into the par 4 12. He's iron play. Oh, fantastic, Frank. That was ball too. That is tremendous. Didn't look overly happy with the approach, but can he drain it for birdie? And that is another disappointment. Beautiful oh, chip. Wow, wow. Go ahead, Bo Jin. And just like that, Bo Jin gets his birdie. Playing alongside TK, Japan's Leo Oyo wanted to join in on the fun. So China, Japan, Thailand, New Zealand, all making their presence felt here, day one. TK's flat stick was cold early and needs some punts to start dropping. Oh, what a great three, really. You see any flaws? I know it's <laughs> I, I know it's a very small sample size here. Chance to get to seven under. A little bit of breathing room. I know it's only day one, but you said he bogeyed the first hole, and since then it has been birdies galore. Okay, now they're starting to pour it on. Two of the pre-championship favorites living up to the billing. Two shots back, par 3 17th. Now to the famous 17th, can he hold his nerve? Just another great iron shot. Distance is good. He just keeps, seems to like pepper it. Back in 15, this guy you mentioned earlier, Rayon Thomas. For a long time he's trained in Dubai. Oh, look out, go ahead and do that. Huge putt there at the par five. Final hold for Oyo, with water lurking left. Look, everybody's different, Frank, but 
TK just looks a lot softer than, than Sam. That's too bad right there for Leo Oyo. It just looks softer. This is risky because if he's dropping the ball, he's just going to drop it just up on that hill. So he must, he must have a little bit more grass behind that ball. Of course, the advantage of the new rule is you know, you ground the club player like any other shot. But I mean, to be honest, there's no advantage there. Way to hang in there, Leo Hoyo. That'll do a world of good for his confidence. Shows some fight, some toughness right there. Could have hung his head, Frank. Instead, he gets out of here sub-70. Round one provides a packed leaderboard topped by China's Bo Jing. He's aiming to follow in the footsteps of his brother, Shen Jing, who lifted the trophy in 2015. Hot on his heels is the top-ranked player in the field and local hope, TK Chantunanawat. He is joined by Hong Kong's James Liu and Japan's Ryuta Suzuki, who are all just two shots behind. A further shot back, we have eight players representing four different countries, tied at four under, and we'll be looking to close that gap tomorrow. We caught up with two of the favourites after a strong start. I mean, everything went pretty well. I would say the birdie on two can't start in my round because I saw the bogey. And the chipping on hole 15 was a pretty much a highlight too. I think almost every single hole was a highlight because I feel like I played my best on every single hole and today was definitely a good round. Got a couple of lucky shots out there too, but everything went great for me today. So. I've been telling people this is the one I've wanted to win, like probably the one I want to win most in my life because Asian Tour, there's like what, 12 events I can play every year. This only comes once a year and it only comes to Thailand like every eight years, 10 years, 12 years. So I, I, I don't want this, I need this. Yeah, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. Join us again tomorrow as the Asia Pacific's brightest young stars look to put on another show.